What's up, gents? It's your boy, Mr. Rico X Mafioso, coming to you guys with another video. Tonight, I just wanted to discuss a little something. Nothing crazy, but I'm sure a lot of you gents out there who are actually trying to exude greatness would understand. For y'all who don't know me yet, hopefully we get to know each other across this platform. I'm gonna probably gonna start posting a lot of more YouTube videos. It's been a long time I haven't posted like any videos because I actually got a little bit shy, so <laughs> this is me coming out of my, my cocoon, let's say. But today's a special topic because it's actually about addiction, and specifically my addiction, and what I realized over the past couple of years and what allowed me to become the man that I am today. A little bit about myself, so I'm a power engineer, right? So. I've been in the field of work for about six years now, and I've seen a lot of changes in, in, in the field of power engineering. It's, it's, been, it's been pretty magical, I'm not gonna lie, seeing technology change over the past couple of years when it comes to automation and instrumentation, it's pretty crazy. But let me come back to the topic anyways, guys. So uh, me, when I got into the field of power engineering, I remember there was a rule here in Canada, because I'm from Canada, from actually our West Canada, there's a, there's a rule here in Canada that that back in the day that you could not work for these multinational companies, these oil and gas companies, if you did drugs. Everybody understood that, right? So if you consume drugs or if you were an alcoholic, these type of jobs weren't for you because they were going to drug test you and they we're going to make sure that you were qualified to be able to work these jobs without hurting anybody else because it's a lot of, uh, you know, how can we say, it? Uh, security and health uh, rules and things that we make sure to take care of so that when you do come into work, you don't hurt other people or you don't hurt yourself. And when you leave work, you leave and work with all your fingertips and all your limbs, right? So what I was trying to say is that they used to heavily drug test everyone that would come in through these doors. Because first things first, they're paying individuals more than six figures to come do these jobs. Like, you know, for the past couple of years, I've been lucky enough to like average what, like 135K, 125 to 130K a year. And I say God bless, right? Because not a lot of people have the chance to make this type of money, learn these type of skills and, you know, and go out here and work these type of hours so you can actually benefit and live a life worth living because really thanks to these jobs not gonna lie thanks to these jobs i was able to change my whole fucking life completely i'm from the hood like i came from the streets for real and thanks to these jobs thanks to these special skills that i've learned in school i was able to take all these whatever apply into the real world come out winning so drug testing I actually stopped smoking weed years back because I told myself, you know, you got to prepare yourself. You're, you're going to get into the business and marijuana is one of those things that's frowned upon and you know that you don't want to be fired or lose an opportunity that may change your life forever. By the way, guys, take your shit very fucking seriously. Take your life very fucking seriously. Take your opportunities every fucking seriously. Like Eminem and that one track, Eight Miles, like, you know, you only get one shot. Do not like, lose your chance to blow because opportunity comes once in, a, once in a lifetime. You better. So I saw it like that and I told myself, hey, I'm coming out the hood. I have a chance to make six figures, get myself out of here and start planning for the future. So I quit smoking marijuana. I quit everything, drinking. I quit doing drugs, all in general, I quit everything. Uh, went through a rough patch, of course. Um, <laughs> you know, withdrawal, withdrawal was crazy, but you know, you had to stay motivated and and and, and understand what, what was needed to be sacrificed to get to the next level. Fast forward a couple of years, so we are here today multiple multiple six figures later me living my best life me currently chilling on my curve right now like coming right now 
Life is good. Life is good. Life is good. But, uh, you know, me currently living this amazing lifestyle, I kind of like took my foot off the gas at one point. Let's see, like about two years ago, I took my foot off the gas and I started drinking a little bit again, smoking a little bit again, just to, you know, I told myself I deserved it. I told myself, man, you sacrificed so much from where you were at to where you're currently at that, yo, you know, it's not going to affect you. Secondly, in Canada, we became legal. I should have started off with that. I should have started off with that because that's what really convinced me. Marijuana became legal. So I told myself, you know what, this, hey, now that it's even legal, like, hey, these these companies are going to be drug testing individuals. And even if there's THC in the system, they can't do shit about it because it's legal. The only thing you can do is consume during work hours, right? So I'm not about that anyways. A couple of years later, like I said, uh, fast forward, I got comfortable, bought a couple of BMWs, bought a couple of motorcycles, had money in the bank, stacked that shit to the ceiling, became very, very, very fit, disciplined, made a lot, uh, built a lot of muscle. I ain't trying to flex on y'all right now, but you know what I mean? Like, y'all understand that shit. I, mean, I built a lot of muscle, uh, pretty much elevated my life, my, my, my. Social media blew up my 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 personal projects. I'm a musician, so that shit started blowing up too. Uh, I was winning, 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 winning. So I told myself, you know what? Shit, ease off, ease off. Go smoke up a little bit. Fast forward, we are today. I'm not saying that my life is going down. I'm not saying anything of that nature or even going to talk negatively about drugs or marijuana because I'm a, I'm a spiritual individual and understand that every tool um, that was given to us on this planet Earth has its place in time. Marijuana at one point was very good for me as a youth. It allowed me to see things um, when I say youth young adult because you should not be doing drugs as kids stay away from that shit but as a young adult even as a young adult you shouldn't be doing drugs but for me personally allow me to to come out the woodworks of what i've lived as a youth and kind of recollect my thoughts and try to you know uh deal with the traumas that i've that i went through and it helped me deal with all of that shit so, like I said, we are here today. A couple of years later, I got everything that I really want. <laughs> I'm living my best life. But I'm out of place in time. Now, that it's time to take myself from 135K. You know what? 100K, 120K, 130K. And I want to double it. I want to go to even, let's say, hit 300,000 a year. Once you're able to trust yourself once you're able to know your strengths and weaknesses your abilities all it takes is now looking in the mirror and i saw that i was slipping and falling off and marijuana became a crutch for me where how when i don't know at one point it was very just like i can smoke it not really give a fuck but now i'm at a point where it's just i love my kush i've always loved kush but the love is so intense that I know that it's the type of love that isn't for me where I'm currently at in my life because it's not going to serve me. I'm going to be serving marijuana. Doja Queen. Shit, man, them blunts. You got to love them blunts, you know. I, I love especially being an entrepreneur and uh, working for someone else, meaning having my own business and as well working for someone else. Like, I don't, I'm not a man of excuses. Like, I'm not the type of person you, you know, I'll smoke a blunt and then I'll just chill here and, you know, I won't get shit done. I'm the type of individual, like, I'll smoke a blunt and I'll go to the gym. I'll smoke a blunt. I'll come back. I'll get my whole day prioritized. I'll go out, chop it up with my, with the individuals I need to talk to, go to the power plant. You know, go down the list of things that need to be inspected, do the water test, uh, the chemical analysis, water 
chemical analysis tests, all that good shit. I won't have a problem with it. But it's for the spiritual, the, the spiritual aspect. And excuse me, guys, it's the spiritual aspect of things that I realized was taking a very, 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 very big toll on me. Example, I used to pray quite a bit in the morning. But for some weird reason, I would wake up in the morning and I would like... Prayer wouldn't be the first thing on my mind like it was. It would be like, hey, how about we pour ourselves a little glass of tea, lemon tea, ginger tea, roll a blunt, and put like a learning video, a spiritual learning video about, you know, esoteric ideals or whatever. Even though those were great. And like I said, it allowed me to step out of my comfort zone in a way and allow me to see myself in a different light but at the end of the day i know what are the habits are actually gonna make me win even bigger greater and it involves recollecting myself and staying grounded and i realized marijuana was keeping my head up in the clouds if that makes sense for some of you and excuse me with an angle right here uh I wish I would have set up a pocket, like the, the tripod for y'all so y'all could actually just like, you know, have a better angle of me because right now I feel like this shit's really unprofessional, but I promise y'all the next video is going to be fucking dope. But uh, this is really just to address the fact that, hey, you need to look yourself in the mirror. You need to be able to understand the type of man you are and the type of man you want to become because it's easy to slip out here, gents. It's fucking easy. It's easy to slip out here. Don't catch yourself slipping. And if you do catch yourself slipping, just like I did, and you know your value and what you are, it's tough, but you just need to grab yourself and look yourself in the fucking eyes and go, yo, no matter what I'm about to face, no matter how hard this shit's about to get, no matter what psychological hurdles I'm going to have to get over and physical hurdles I'm going to have to get over. I'm going to do it because I understand where I'm going. I understand what needs to be done. And I'm not trying to go back to the old version of what I was and who I am. Who I was. What I was. And what I did. Anyways, guys, this was just a little intro video. Just a little what's up. Nothing crazy. My name is Rico. Much love, much love, much love. And this is actually day one of stopping marijuana again. So, uh, who knows? I don't know if I'll come back on day two. But long story short, we're on a journey. We're going to build this motherfucking YouTube page up for everybody out here who's going through some shit. Come through. It's all about betterment. Like... No matter what your objectives are, if your objective is at the end of the day to be the best version of yourself, click the sub, click the motherfucking sub, drop a motherfucking comment, and let's get at it, guys, because it's time for us to live the life we always motherfucking want. Let's get rich. Let's get jacked. Let's make this shit happen, my brother. Much love. Rico out.